Hey folks, Peter Uckies here today to talk to you about dropping tasks in OmniFocus. So today is July 3rd, 2019, and OmniFocus 3.4 for the Mac came out, and OmniFocus 3.4 lets you drop individual tasks. So I want to tell you a little bit today about how it works, how you can drop a task, and in which scenarios you might want to use this new feature. By the way, on the iOS versions of OmniFocus, um, the latest version is 3.3, not 3.4, but who cares? Anyway, go ahead and update your OmniFocus if you have not already done so. Just make sure you're on the latest version of OmniFocus, and then you'll be able to do this. You might need to do a little bit of a database migration, but that should take you know a minute or something, unless you have some gigantically big database. So dropping tasks in OmniFocus. Let's start with a little bit of an example. I'm going to create a task, and it's going to be a repeating task, because that is the scenario in which dropping tasks is going to be most useful. So I'm going to add a new task, hit Command N here in my OmniFocus, and I'm going to call it uh, Meditate for 20 minutes. This is something I do every day and highly recommend that you meditate as well. Um, I'm going to set the repeat to repeat every one day and the due date to today. And that makes it due at 10 p.m. today, which is the default that I've got set up. OK, so now I've got a repeating task. And I want to do this every day. So normally, I'll complete this task and then just go and hit the space bar or press right here and complete a task. All right, done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. What if I don't get to meditating today? With a new feature of dropping tasks, what I could do is select the task and actually go ahead and click this button right here. Now, this button is dropped. So if I click that, OmniFocus will prompt me and say, this item is configured to repeat. Do you want to skip this occurrence and schedule the next one? or drop the item completely. So in this case, I have an intention to meditate for 20 minutes every day. It's just that I'm not getting to it today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press skip this occurrence. Boom. Now you might ask yourself, why would you do that? I mean, I could also just have simply marked the task as complete, even though I hadn't done it, no harm done, won't see the task anymore in my OmniFocus. And this is true, and that may be the way you want to do things. Um, I don't tend to skip meditation anymore, but there are definitely things that are I have as repeating tasks that I don't always get to, and sometimes I just skip them, and then I'll just mark them as complete, and that works fine. But perhaps you'd like to be able to see how often you got to this particular task. And in the case of a meditation habit, it may be that you get to it most days, but not all days, and you'd like to see over the past, I don't know, month, how many days did you actually not get to meditating? How many days did you skip it? How many days did you drop it, in other words? Well, you can do this. We can go ahead and create a new perspective over here at the top and click Add Perspective. Go ahead and call this a Drop Perspective. And then just change the filter rule right here, Availability Dropped. That's it. Just X out of it, go Perspectives, Dropped. Now I'm looking at my Drop Perspective. And uh, OK, I have some extra demo tasks that I, uh, I wasn't showing you in the video today. But this particular one that we were talking about just now, it showed up here. My meditate for 20 minutes showed, shows up here as dropped. This is the, the new icon for a task that you've uh, dropped. And you can see when it was due. It was due today. Now, if I go back to my um, demo action right here, and we skip it. Uh, or drop it again, OmniFocus will ask us again, we're going to say skip this occurrence, right? Not, you know, delete it entirely, um, or drop it entirely, rather. Skip the occurrence. Okay, go back to our dropped perspective over here. And I'm just going to make this smaller. Now you see it's in here twice. So I can actually see that on these two particular days, yeah, I've gone ahead and skipped this occurrence of this repeating task to meditate for 20 minutes. So this can be really handy as a way for you to keep track of how often you don't do something that you intended to, to do regularly. Of course, with this new feature, you know, you got to be a little bit responsible, right? If there's something that you intend to do every day and you find yourself skipping it often, you know, maybe more than one in five times or maybe more than one in 10 times, you might want to ask yourself, why am I not getting to it? Why am I skipping it so often? You know, it doesn't help to have a to-do list with 65 items on it every day and then dropping 40 of them and only, you know. So in that case, you may want to start off with smaller ambitions to begin with. Or you might ask yourself what your priorities are. If you didn't get to this particular task, what did you do? And did you make the correct decision in hindsight? Or do you wish that you had actually completed this particular task instead of doing something else? But that's something for you to think about. So this is essentially how 
the new dropping tasks functionality works in OmniFocus on the Mac. On the iPhone or iPad, you can also go ahead and uh, drop tasks. You can go and like skip an occurrence, um, very handy. There may be some other uses that you could think of. For example, you could create a tag and set it so that any task that has that tag automatically becomes a, a dropped uh, task as well. So I cannot immediately think of a good reason for why you want to do this, but maybe you're more creative than I am right now. So you may come up with something. But I think this, what I've shown you in this video, skipping an occurrence uh, or yeah, skipping just one occurrence of a repeating task and then being able to track that with a separate perspective, I think that'll be the main use. Now, do I recommend that you start doing this? Not necessarily. I mean, it may not be helpful for you to spend time looking at, you know, which tasks you dropped or something. Um, you can, I, I would encourage you if you don't immediately think of a good use for dropping tasks to just forget about it. But if you're like, you know what, this is really useful and I have been meaning to keep better track of which tasks I complete and which ones I don't, um, then in this case, you can rather than fake completing a task, you can actually go ahead and drop it or skip one occurrence of it. And let me just show you just for completeness sake what happens if I take this task and I actually uh, hit that drop button and I say drop completely, it just disappears, right? We can still go to this drop perspective. There we go. It's in there a third time now. Yeah. Um, but now it won't keep repeating. It's just dropped. It's still here for us to take a look at, but it's just completely dropped. So the difference is that when you skip one occurrence, um, just that one, yeah, one recurrence will be dropped as opposed to the whole thing. So that was drop tasks, new feature in OmniFocus 3.4. Hope this was clear. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and add them in the comments. It's a new feature, so perhaps it's something I can help you figure out and something that I need to figure out myself too. Um, also, if you found this video helpful, I would love if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Finally, I have some other free OmniFocus resources that are in the description of the video, so uh, go ahead and check those out, and I wish you a very pleasant day.